what is going on guys so obviously by the title of this video i am bringing you some bad news yes my account got fished i lost a total of 880 mil last week uh, because of an account phishing scam that i actually fell for so this video is basically because i like to be transparent with my viewers i'd like to let you guys know what's going on i don't want to keep anything from you and uh, I could have just said, oh, you know, I got rid of all my GP, lost its staking, and I want to do a rebuild series for you guys. But I don't want to do that. I, like I said, I want to be transparent with you guys, explain to you what happened, and bring a little bit of awareness to what happened to me. So account phishing, you may or may not know exactly what it is. Account phishing is when a person uses something to get some very specific information from you to get onto your runescape account or anything else maybe your email your bank accounts anything like that to get that information log in and with runescape take your items and usually account phishing like this is for real world trading so i'm almost positive that all the money that got stolen from my account is most likely gone and had been sold on some rsgp gold buying and selling website uh, yeah, fairly certain that that's exactly what happened. And you're probably asking yourself, so what happened? Why are you an idiot? Well, I will explain to you exactly what happened. So, uh, one night last week, it was pretty late. It was actually very late. It was like 2 a.m. and I had been up for like 19, 20 hours. I went to work that morning, came back, blah, blah, blah. And I saw something that caught my eye. And I'm not going to mention exactly what happened to me because I don't want people to go looking for it, see if they could find it and maybe get fished themselves. So we'll just leave it at that. But I saw something that caught my eye and I looked at it and it took me to a replica of the RuneScape page, which I'm usually very careful about looking at things like that. And when I got there, the RuneScape page was actually identical and it asked me to enter in my login information, which I did. Now, I don't log into the RuneScape page very often. Like, I if I had to say when the last time I logged into runescape.com was, maybe two years ago, maybe more, I don't know. I never used that ever since I set up everything I needed to set up. I just never log in. So it looked a little different and I didn't know any better. So I entered the information that was asked of me. And what that did was send the information to a log to the person that was doing this and in turn it also logs your IP address so I got a denial of service attack which you would know is a DDoS which disconnected me from my internet. Now as soon as the disconnect happened I realized exactly what had happened to me and I thought I was going to be fast enough to log on to runescape.com on my phone and change my password before my account fully disconnected and logged out but I probably missed it by just a couple of seconds because I tried to log in and my account was already logged in and unfortunately there's no way to boot somebody from your account if you change the password it won't matter they'll still be able to have access to the account until they log out so I did change my password and all that and after the dude logged out I made sure to do a DNS flush and an IP release renew uh, which would change my IP address so in case he ever tried to do it again he wouldn't have the correct IP address to send a denial of service attack and obviously he doesn't have access to my uh, email account that the account is registered to so there's no way that he would be able to reset the password in the future now how do I feel about this well at first it kind of felt pretty crappy you know I lost a lot of money a lot of stuff that I had been working towards and uh, as most of you know I don't take donations from people I don't ask for donations so all of that money that I lost was earned by me over the past years and that's you know pretty much all my money comes from making videos for you guys to see and uh, you know anything like that but uh, I don't really feel too bad about it actually because now I actually have something to do like you know I was getting close to maxing and really I didn't have all of the items that I wanted but I had a vast majority of stuff that I wanted to use but now this gives me an opportunity to sit back and you know enjoy some PBM content because I actually have a goal to work towards and the final goal that I'm going to work towards when doing this is uh, 1 billion GP bank by the end of this year. So that gives me three months to make uh, some more money and get back to basically back to where I was. So right now I'll basically show you guys uh, where I'm currently at. So this happened to me about a week ago from the release of this video. So right now my bank is sitting at 79 mil and this is my main account. Um, 
you might be wondering, well, how'd you get that much money if you got hacked or you got fish, whatever? Well, they took all of the big ticket items from my account. So anything that was one clickable and what I'm, I think the most, the thing that I'm most salty about is they got rid of all my placeholders. So now I got to get all those back. But regardless, um, they left actually about 45 mil in stuff on my account, which was just randomly scattered around the bank. So that was a good starter for me to get back going, which I got, um, I got most of the Zolra gear I need, because I will be doing Zolra very soon. And I actually had about 15 mil in Master Stash units around the game, which I went and looted all that stuff, got rid of that, and sold it. So, uh, but I also do want to say thank you to OG Hunter, who's a good friend of mine, who gave me 10 mil to get going with, and uh, Ghosting RS also uh, threw 20 mil my way to help me out with a rebuild. So. 30 mil from a couple of my good friends that are is definitely helping me get back on my feet and I guess the rest of the stuff has just been acquired for me doing some raids I did start doing raids uh, pretty frequently since I lost all that money so I have a raids tab going and I'm also gonna put my Zolra loot in this tab and just you know start getting some of my items back and you might also notice that there is a ring of suffering and a bandos god sword in the inventory the reason I have that in the inventory is because it is on loan uh, from a friend of mine uh, that I'll be using the ring for Zolra and the Bandos God Sword for raids as a special attack lowering weapon. Um, I just didn't have the funds to get that stuff and they really help out with raids in Zolra. Uh, so he let me borrow those for the time being. And uh, yeah, this is basically where I'm starting out from. Without uh, the help from a couple of my friends, I'd be down around 49 mil and it would be a little bit more of a struggle. But you know, I'm getting back on my feet and I'm actually uh, gonna enjoy this and you know the way I really feel about it is if somebody is doing this and you know taking the money from your account and selling it in the real world well the way I look at it is they must need that a lot more than I do because it, you know it's a pixelated currency that sells for real money and if you need it that bad I'm really not gonna be that mad about it because I don't need it that bad if you do you know just take it and do what you're gonna do with it so, like I said, if you really need it that bad, go ahead and take it, but the misuse of technology is actually a pretty serious offense, and for those of you that don't know, I do work for an organization, and I am a desktop support specialist. Now, I do dabble in a little bit of cybersecurity and, you know, anything that has to do with that, and I have some friends that are in the industry, and they're very good at what they do. Now, fortunately for me, I did manage to get the IP address that this person logged into my account with and I am looking into the IP address and looking to find out exactly what can be done if we do locate where this IP address actually is so if it is located there is a possibility that I can forward this to the authorities because it is a crime what you're doing whether it be a misdemeanor or a felony and the misuse of technology when it comes to fishing can carry a punishment of up to five years in a federal prison or a pretty hefty fine if it's considered a misdemeanor so uh, I actually am looking into the IP address that got into my account uh, because I do have some friends that can track it down and I can also play a little bit of a part in that as well so yeah that is about it so my account got fished 880 mil I am looking into it am I mad not really because it gives me something to do in the game uh, honestly I was burning out a little bit uh, from doing all the skilling and trying to max so I really actually have an opportunity to actually have fun with the game you know do some PVM embossing uh, with my friends oh and one more thing uh, in case you guys didn't know I do collect bread I don't know why I collect bread I just collect bread and I had hundred and seventy five thousand bread before this person fished my account and they took the bread now from a, ger a very generous donation from baby bear he gave me 2,000 bread to restart the bread collection so I'm at 2,000 bread if you want to throw any bread my way please go ahead I've been trying to get up to a million bread uh, forever uh, so I got to restart that collection all over uh, now with uh, most of my videos I normally tell you to like and subscribe but this video kind of sucks so I'm not going to get into that but yeah uh, thanks for watching guys be sure to check the links that you are clicking on don't get fished like I did. It really sucks, uh, even if you don't feel that bad about it. A lot of people would quit the game if they did get fished, so be careful when you're clicking on things and putting login information. I wasn't, and this is what happened to me. 
But that's going to do it, guys. Take it easy. I will see you guys on the next video.